Good afternoon. I'm City Council President Helena Moreno, and I'm here to welcome you to the City of New Orleans COVID Memorial, which is part of the National COVID Memorial happening in cities across the country right now. This moment of unity is being led by President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris at the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. We all know that in this city, we have certainly felt the tremendous pain and loss of this pandemic. So the mayor and I thought that it was very important to be part of this national tribute, recognizing those New Orleanians that we have lost. We have placed white flags honoring each and every one of them. We also asked churches to ring their bells this afternoon. And this evening, downtown buildings, including the Superdome, will be illuminated in recognition of the lives that we have lost. We come now, dear Lord, praying and remembering those who have suffered loss, so many of them unnecessarily. We pray for them and we pray for their families and loved ones and as they grieve and go through anxiety, pressure and stress. Victory is on the horizon that weeping may endure for a night, but we know joy is gonna come in the morning. We remember, we reflect, and we thank you for the lives of the people that we have lost. We give you praise in the name of our Lord, we pray. And everybody said, amen. There are no words I can offer that I believe will add much closure to this period in our society that, not, that has not yet closed. I often think about what our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren will read about the year 2020 and the COVID-19 pandemic. I don't really know how the story will go, but I believe that it will end with resilience and hope. 10 months ago, none of us could have imagined the state of our nation and the world for that matter. I received the first list of all of our departed on May 5th of 2020. So you can imagine going from March to May, not knowing all who had been impacted, only getting to hear a number. And our people aren't numbers. The 700 that have lost or we've lost will never come back, but the love that we have for them and their loved ones have for them, it will never diminish. My administration, along with the New Orleans City Council, we have allocated proper resources to ensure that we have a permanent exhibit for our loved ones and we will always ensure that they live on through us and through this city. Let's do our part to ensure that we protect our people. Wear that mask, keep your distance, and listen to guidelines of this city and of the state of Louisiana, all in place to save lives. But today we honor and we show true love to those that we've lost in our city due to COVID-19. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Councilwoman, for your leadership. But the love stands in the city of New Orleans like no other place in the United States of America. God bless you and may all of our people rest in his perfect peace. Amen.